<coughs> What's up, people? Welcome back to a regular day. Yes, sir. Oh, man, what deja vu. I think last time I was here at this spot, I said, yes, sir. I think last time I was here, I quoted Avengers Infinity War. <sighs> You're full of tricks, wizard. But you never once use your greatest weapon. Anyway, I'm um, very happy, kind of, oddly. Okay, no, it's not that odd. I'm just starting to go back into my usual routine for a day, which was getting really boring, but since I just got back from a little trip, it's, it's wonderful. I just had a drive to Colorado, went there for the weekend, because my Jeep was working, so loaded my bike, just went there for a weekend for myself. <clears throat> and it was really good. I have been needing to go somewhere for a while. I hadn't traveled anywhere in at least three months. So yeah, when my Jeep works, I have my vehicles, I'm gonna go. And that's exactly what I did. And it was perfect except for on the way home, halfway, literally the worst place that could happen between Colorado and home. My Jeep did what it does best. It's bloated. But it was something new. I first thought that it was the gears in the rear axle but now i don't think so because it, it had that shearing noise like great <laughs> yas um and then i thought well maybe i can limp it home in four-wheel drive and drive slowly before the teeth shear off i don't know choices weren't good and then i went six and there is no six it's, there's nothing there and the rest of the time when i'm driving you'll hear like a rattle that goes with the revolution of the engine I don't know if that makes sense. It's hard to describe what I don't understand. Anyways, so the gears work. It makes a rattling noise. I'm under the impression that six gear in the transmission got exploded. And I think it's a transmission because the gear seems to work fine. And it happened while I was towing. I've been towing for over a thousand miles at that point. And I think <clears throat> the transmission, because it's, it's a custom build, Supposedly, I'm, I'm guessing by the way, I'm just gonna speculate. It's kind of fun. I mean, I, ha I have to have some kind of guess. And then when I do find out what it is, you can all see how wrong I was when, when it's diagnosed. But anyway, I think six gear of the transmission is destroyed. But I, anyway, I was able to limp it home yesterday. I had to drive kind of slow, I was in fifth gear, didn't go at the speed limit, but a little bit slower. And I freaking made it. I just, I'm like, I, I, it's hard to describe how happy I am that I just made it home. Uh, th like I said, breaking down in Colorado or between the two points, literally the middle of nowhere, that would have been the worst place to break down. I got you back, bro. I got you back. If I had been paying attention, I would have gotten here in the first place. Yep. Yes. Yes, I am a generous God. So I'm happy I made it home, right? Because if my Jeep and trailer and bikes broke down there in the middle of nowhere that been that would have been horrible i got past the worst possible situation my stuff is here it's home it's in the garage now we can have our first little problems again i'm happy but i looked at the calendar it is two weeks until i'm supposed to leave for my birthday trip with my jeep to to jeep beach in florida most likely i'm not trying to get too despaired yet but most likely at this point there's most likely i can't go i mean so today, I'm getting the Jeep towed to the shop because it's covered by my insurance for one and two. Not only was it making noise, it was leaking. And so I don't know if whatever it was is dried out now. It was, I know, I'm pretty sure it caused more damage to drive it, so just, just tow it. So it's gonna get towed, it's gonna get diagnosed, who knows when, and when that happens, depending on what's wrong, it, <laughs> sure. when, if it will get fixed, I don't know, so many questions, but Two weeks from now, I was planning to drive that Jeep, no trailer, but just the Jeep, two days down to Florida, be there for three days, and then drive two days back. That's like, oh, a couple thousand miles at least. I'm really bummed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rant about this a little bit, and at the risk of ranting about it again, whether I go or not, but I briefly mentioned Jeep Beach. It's this big week-long thing they have in Florida where all the Jeeps and the nation come down, they drive on the beach, basically. There's other events, too. But I've wanted to go there for years. It's just never worked out that I can go. And I was like, this year I have no reason not to go. My Jeep is working. Woohoo! Yeah! So my Jeep was like, <laughs> did somebody miss exploding? And then it went, <laughs> and now I'm like, most likely I'm not going to get to go to Jeep Beach, which 
bums me out, but at the same time, I've not been able to go for several years. Something has always come up, so I'm not super disappointed if I can't go. And there's still, I guess, a slight chance I could go. I'm not gonna go without the Jeep. That's the whole point of going. There's still a slight chance. But if I can't go, all that means is I have got to find, well, I mean, if I can't go, I gotta find something else to do for my birthday, but you know, that does kind of fall in the realm of fall, realm? Falls in the category of first world problems still. So I'm not stressing about it. I'm still just happy that I got my crap home. That's a good place to be. I'm just gonna complain about my vehicles today, as I always do, I'm sorry. Okay, so in about 10 days, I'm supposed to ride to South Dakota on my Super Duke for my grandpa's 90th birthday. It'll be a fun drive, Ooh, which I've done before on the uh, touring bike that I no longer have, but I know my Super Duke can make it. The thing is, as I was riding in Colorado, I was reminded how irritated I am by the front. I think, I do believe it's the front rotor. I'm not a doctor, but it doesn't break smoothly on the front. It's like per evolution, it's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's very annoying. And what else? Uh, now it's squeaking. So <laughs> yeah, it still drives. The moral of the story is I can still drive it to South Dakota. I just, I would like to make sure it was on my spine. I can't click with my helmet on. I wish it was fixed. And the plan was, as I was driving home yesterday with a cheap trailer, I was like, okay, so when I get home, I'm going to take the zero off, leave the trailer and the Duke on the trailer, and then tomorrow morning to the gym, I'm going to take the Duke and the Jeep and the trailer, drop the Duke off, and then drop the trailer off to have its bearings checked, and then I'll... And then, yeah, but then the Jeep blew up, and I was like, okay, well, then just forget about the trailer and the bike. Just We need to get this all home. So it's all home. First of all, problems. I feel your anger, I feel your judgment, and I reject it completely. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna argue for my Jeep now because I know a lot of you guys just hate my Jeep. It's gonna be in the form of a ramble. I would rather write like a nice bullet point or a thesis or something to make my points more concise, but here I go. Number one, the Jeep is worth more to me than anybody else. It literally would not be worth selling, even if I wanted to, which I don't. Number two, that Jeep is so special. It's the only kind of vehicle like it in the world, and it's mine, and I like it a lot. It just blows up a lot. <laughs> if it legit exploded, like got totaled, well, I got that covered. I'm paying a lot to have it insured in case it did get totaled. But if it did get totaled, I already decided that I would then take that money that I got reimbursed for the vehicle, assuming I got fully reimbursed. That's the whole point of the insurance I'm paying for. If it did explode or get totaled, I would use that reimbursement money to build Pootis 2.0. I would do it again. Not exactly the same. I'd make some differences, but like I'm still gonna, I'd still like, like make a, a, a custom Hellcat Jeep. That's what I would still do with it. So the Jeep isn't going away. If you don't like it, sucks to be you. Too bad it's not your vehicle because it's mine and I like it. And I tell you what, I tell you what, it sure is fun to drive when it's not exploding. Once again, I'm down a vehicle and I have no vehicle to drive. Well, this is another occasion where it's really nice to have the freaking Mustang. Now I have a car, so I'm okay. And while I'm still up to selling the car, at this very moment, I don't want to sell the car because I don't have a... It's the only car I have. Okay, I gotta go inside and get groceries with my helmet on. I've gotta buy a whole bunch of healthy crap. I need my nutrients. Don't know why, but I really want a hula hoop right now. The Autobots need eggs. Y'all probably didn't want to, but... You're joining me for my groceries. And I'll take one of those. And I'll take one of those. Milk, eggies, Greek ass yogurt, and then protein supplements in the form of chicken. Okay. Oh, I also did something else I forgot. Do I dare try raspberries? Screw it, I'll try them. I've never tried that. There. And all that healthy crap. Now, the challenge is making all this fit. You know, now that I think about it, I can't think of one time where I was out somewhere and tried to get stuff to fit my bike and couldn't get it to fit, because I'll make it work. Number one, if any of you try and screw me, you'll be dead. Now this bag, best candidate to putting stuff in. I want this heavy stuff, mainly milk, in its own compartment. Take the chicken, put it in here so I don't crush my Chipotle. Thankfully, Nothing has like been crushed and exploded in my gym bag yet. Mm, but it's been fully packed a lot before on my bike. Two bungees on the rack system. Nice. And then this net, I'm gonna put a bit more in there because it's just a lot. I look like such a schmuck out here. 
living on my little motorcycle. There, check it out. Suck. Sis. So happy spring is technically here. I, oh, my back hurts. I use this bike to go to the gym whenever I can, which means I kind of end up using this bike like almost every day. I just like it so much. I was thinking about that on the way here. I was like, man, I drove the Jeep for over a thousand miles. Now it's really fun. I love having my car back. The Duke is super badass. But something about this bike. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, last week I asked if you guys wanted me to make a review video on this bike, and I got a good amount. I'd say a good amount of you guys saying you wanted to see a review. So I will think about it. There's another video I have to make that's more that I have to make. So that's taken uh, uh, English. So I have to focus on getting that one before I ever think about doing this. But uh, I thought about it again because I was just trying to justify how much I like this motorcycle, even though I know it's not that great. I, it's subjective versus objective. Anyway, what's the milk like at 70 miles an hour? Hopefully it doesn't explode. Woo! Okay. Well, I guess that was me complaining about my Jeep exploding again and a little bit of a grocery trip. Hopefully I didn't waste your time too much. Well, thank you suckers for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!